There is a significant rise of fatal accidents during the festive season. Anticipating a high volume of traffic during the upcoming Hari Raya Dil Fitri celebrations, we speak to Professor Dr. Kurantayan Kesi Mani of UPM for his thoughts on how to reduce the number of deaths during this period. If you look at the health burden due to road crash uh, in Malaysia only for last year, every 53 seconds we have one road crash reported in the country. And due to that, uh, every uh, 80 minutes, we have one life loss due to road crash. So this is the health burden which is in front of us. Um, and usually these numbers will slightly rise up during the festive season due to high number of traffic volumes up on the road. So it is, uh, it is everyone's responsibility and duty trying to bring down these numbers in order to make sure that all our travel are safe during festive season as well as throughout the year later on. Although it's everyone's responsibility to ensure road safety, Dr. Kulantayan stressed on the vital role that employers play in increasing awareness among their employees. There is one, uh, one, one big stakeholder which has a significant role, which is the employer. Because under the employer, you have the employees. So if every employer can take care only of their employees only, uh, then I think collectively together we can make a huge difference because under every uh, every company they will have the safety and health officers okay uh, so safety is part of the company's agenda as well okay so I, let me give you some examples where in companies where where the companies has mentioned that the employees should not be using a mobile phone while driving and then they should not uh, they, they should not be speeding and then when they are parking their cars it has to be reversed on the on the on the reverse start so there are many examples which they have done uh, for some of the companies. So if this can be scaled up to all companies, so that the, the whole aim is to make sure that our employees are safe and then because they are safe, they also help to make sure that everyone else who are sharing the same roadway are also safe. He also urged for more harmonisation between all players and ensuring measures to reduce road accidents are effective. If you see traditionally, uh, it, it has always been it's being it's being led by the government agency, okay, where they do the advocacy. Uh, but here, I'm trying to see that uh, if if more players can uh, can actually lend their hands uh, as well. Uh, of course, highway toll operators are, are also doing a good job. Uh, but my request here for the highway toll operators for this year, uh, for this year, if it's possible, if we can have a unified same message, unified message by all toll operators so that the same message crosses the uh, road users. The two main messages that I would like to uh, cross here is to get every motorist to reduce their speed. Okay, that's one. And second is to make sure that they use the seat belts. So if at toll plazas, that is when all the vehicles slow down. And sometimes you can see during the festive season where the toll operators, they take a step ahead they, at the toll plaza, they will sometimes they hand over hampers or pamphlets or what. So at that point where you have a contact point with the uh, passengers and the drivers, if you can remind them to, for all the passengers to wear the seat belt, especially the passengers who are sitting in the rear seat, that is where it is lacking now. Uh, the percentage of rear seat belt usage is pretty much low. So through this, wish, uh, through this effort, if we can remind them and get them to wear it, that will make a huge difference. That's one. Second is in all the rest, uh, rest areas, that's another contact point, another avenue for us to meet all those car passengers and their passen uh, car, car occupants. Again, to remind them as well that please use the seatbelt, especially again, the adult passengers who are sitting in the rear seat.